Can you recognize the set? I mean, I don't know why I'm teasing this. They've already seen the title. What is up, my friends? Hope you're having a beautiful day. And today I am being joined by the most dapper of them all. He's got the looks, the style, the girl. He even shaved his head. You know who I'm talking about. The one and only Marcel Flores. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, man? How are you doing? <laughs> Good, man. Glad you're in New York. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on the channel, man. Listen, pleasure. <laughs> Meeting all you guys. What's up? How you doing? So, for the very few that may not know who you are, why don't you give us a quick intro, like who you are and what do you do? Absolutely. Marcel Flores, born and raised in Stuttgart. I live between New York and LA. Now I'm just like yourself, a men's style YouTuber. And yeah, a great that's, one. That's <laughs> All right, listen, who's talking? <laughs> so, like, how would you describe your style? Versatile. That's like kind of a cop out answer, but it's the one I always give because uh, my channel is called, or originally my blog was called One Dapper Street for a reason. Dapper and street. Yeah. Like, it ranges from, like, sometimes I'll run around in ripped jeans, t shirt, and I don't know, next day in a suit and tie. So, I don't like to confine myself because it's always changing and, like, literally on a daily basis. So, you're probably wondering, what is this challenge about exactly? We have 15 cars each one with a different theme. It can be a dress code like smart casual, for example, a location, movies, the bar, a festival, or a general theme or style like rock and roll, oversized, or the 80s, for example. The cards will be shuffled. We both know in advance what the 15 cards are going to be, but we only have a limited amount of clothing at our disposal. So it's pretty much whatever we can carry. So like around one suitcase. I brought like one and a half-ish suitcase. What yeah, but I packed mine so heavy that it basically is like two. But <laughs> it was one suitcase. I tried to adhere to his rules here. <laughs> so we each have our own pieces that we brought and we're randomly gonna pull one card turn by turn for the other person. Whatever theme pops up on that card is going to dictate the style in which that person will have to dress. So we're gonna be drawn five cards each. So that's five different outfits total that we're gonna have to put together. This is not so much a points game with a clear winner at the end, more so just a fun game that'll allow us on one hand to challenge ourselves to put together outfits with clear constraints and for you guys to see how the guest and I interpret each theme differently, kind of dress it in our own style, put our own spin to it, which will hopefully spark some fresh outfit inspiration for you guys. You ready, man? Absolutely. Let's get into it. Card number one. You're the guest, I feel like you should start. This one. And 90s. Oh, oh what? <laughs> he just randomly flipped one over before as we were setting up and it was a 90s card. All right, be right back in my 90s look. Let's go. Up, how you doing? All right. A little 90s, a little, a little bit of this. <laughs> that's like seven, that's like too far back, but anyway, 90s. Denim on denim, real freaking simple. Um, I feel like this medium wash is definitely like a 90s type vibe. And then especially going onto the feet, we got the Adidas Super Court, which are very retro sneaker. I feel like they're very 90s, kind of yeah. like the Fila whole vibe, that move. Then the white socks with it, it's actually something I'm wearing a whole lot right now. And then just a white t-shirt and then double denim, the Canadian tuxedo, but in a very, casual way. So actually both these pieces are from Target. So if you saw my video recently on my channel, you may have seen these pieces before. And then the white t-shirt is from Uniqlo. I think you made it work better than Justin Timberlake, man. Oh, <laughs> I, just need the, I just need the curly fry hair. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like the look. I think Thanks. light wash like is coming back these days a lot. For sure. And the blue just works really well with the, with the pure white. And, and then tucked in, right? I feel like tucked in was a thing in the 90s. Like yeah. tucking a t-shirt in like this. I feel like a belt maybe, but then not with the sneakers. No, I love it. Do you want to pull a card for oh me? Oh my God, I'm so ready. Let me get it. Uh, kind of wanted that. How would you get on a plane? All right, a little monochromatic. Cozy, I see airport, it. airport nice. vibe. Yeah, man, I mean, when I'm in the airport, if I'm flying, I just, I wanna be cozy, I wanna be comfortable. I'm with you. So, sweatpants all the way. I prefer like this, like the kind of sweat sets when they're monochrome. Yeah, cool. I think it looks a bit cleaner than yeah, like yeah, doing yeah. separate colors. And then coat, cause 
I mean, if you're cold in the like in the airplane or something, it's the worst. You gotta have use it as a blanket, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then end it with chunky white sneakers. Those are literally like my most comfortable pair of sneakers. So yeah, cozy all the way, man. And tying the gray back in from the sole. That's a, that's a baller move. The details. Nice. The details. details. But yeah, exactly. Like you're at the airport, you want to look stylish, but you want to be comfortable. That's how you do it. And. Double denim. Okay, so I'm basically done. So um, <laughs> what I did with this look is not just kidding. Hold up. So all good. right, all right, all right. A lot darker, as you can see, a lot more tailored. I based it off of a black waffle long sleeve, and then I put on a pair of black Chelsea's. These are from Club Monaco, some of my favorite jeans, like really nice raw jeans up top. It's from Uniqlo, and you know, black belt, black watch, dark, yep. sleek, very different than the first one, no? No, I like it, navy black combo, like that'd be like a perfect date night outfit, actually. I like how you pulled out like the navy and the black together, because they're two colors that some people say are hard to put together, so I think you pulled it off really well. Like we see it in the details with the accessories and the boots. I think it's done fantastically, man. Qu question for you. Yeah. I, I Like for me, denim, I treat it as a neutral. Whether it's dark, light, or like, I don't know, I don't see this as, like obviously it's blue, yeah, but I don't think right, it's blue in an right. outfit. I'm like, oh, that's denim? Versus if this were like navy pants, then I'd be like, oh, this is navy. Yeah. But that's I'm like looking at, okay, denim with black, not navy with black almost. Yeah, I see what you mean. I think you're right, because I mean, even if it's like a light wash denim or a, a blue or more saturated denim, like it's still denim. Exactly, and it has like, like a denim vibe. That's you can still have that denim and then a pop of color on top of it, exactly. like it's gonna look great. Yeah. All right, awesome. You ready for your next one? My outfit, all right, let's do it. Casual Friday. Casual Friday, okay. Tim! Oh, there he is. Hey, looking suave, babe, my friend. Okay, what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so it's still businessy, right? But yeah. like, not too businessy. No. Like, it's casual Friday, we can dress down a bit, chill, prepare for the weekend. So you can, like, you can see the white t-shirt peeking out. Obviously, nice. you wouldn't be able to wear that if it was like super formal, you had a business meeting or something. Absolutely. So you still have the striped shirt tucked into the, the black crop trousers. Chelsea boots, which it's a little more less formal option than your standard derbies or Oxfords, for sure. that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, my outfit of choice for a casual Friday. So then walk me through your Friday. You're sitting at your desk, you're working, but then, uh, you know, the clock strikes 5 p.m. What happens to your outfit? How do you go out? Do you just rip the shirt open? You rip the shirt like <laughs> super Clark Kent style. All right, go save Pop on the, the leather jacket. Yep. I'm like, nice. And then just go go make more YouTube videos. All right, that's a good Friday that's, night. That's my Friday yeah. night, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> outfit number three for Marcel, we have, ooh, that's a fun one. We got the festival look. Oh, the festival look, all right. So, okay, I like, I pack what I pack, so this is what it is. Like, but, like you're going to Coachella, it, like, right? Look. Yeah, but Coachella, like, no shorts. I, I went to like a, a fest. Stay right there. I'll be right back, and then we'll talk about it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's see how Marcel dresses for Coachella. <laughs> I don't, I, told you, I don't know if it's Coachella because I would probably go with like a tank top and not a leather jacket But this is definitely a festival look in my opinion starting off with beat up leather chucks because you don't want to go to a festival Can't go thing. wrong with that. Yeah, literally you don't want to mess up your shoes So take shoes that are already beat up <laughs> then some ripped jeans I feel like that's very festival yeah. some chains and then up top is I think where I'm making a bit of a compromise Like when I packed I feel like it would probably be a tank top something a little bit more breathable I have this white rag and bone Henley, which is kind of like more relaxed Which I like and then the biker jacket to pick up the black leather chucks And for, obviously for like a little bit of rock and roll cool type vibe. So maybe I'm going to like I don't know like a, the meadows, which is not as warm here in New York. Like a winter well, time stop festival. That. Stop <laughs> oh my god! How about winter? I want to see. Look, just like that, and I want to carry around the jacket just as a style point. Just and the if whole it day. gets really warm, you can just take off everything. And yeah, I mean, there you yeah, go. I was, gonna, I was actually going to do that and walk into the frame, but I feel like. People call me out on like walking around half naked in my channel. Would I get demonetized for that? <laughs> no man, I like it, yeah. Like That's definitely, the, yeah. Like the chucks, you cannot go wrong with the right. chucks. For I feel like the lower half is like solid. Yeah. The upper half is kind of like, yeah, maybe I would like to have some color. You know, it's like a festival, you can go a little bit more wild. But you save it with the leather jacket though. Yeah. Like the leather jacket is a good, good festival, festival go-to. Well, I'm sure. glad you think so. I want to throw this out. 
So I have my hands free and I can pick your next card. All right, man. Color blocked. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't one. get that that's one. one. <laughs> okay, okay, Color okay. blocked. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome color blocked Tim De Saint into the frame. <laughs> Damn, that, yeah. I don't know if it's considered cheating or not, but yeah, I went with like a single color block piece. I think it just fit well. It was like my most like color block item. Kept the same black crop trousers, went with the Chelsea boots and just popped that on top of it. Color blocked, man. Blue and orange contrasting colors goes beautifully together. I feel like it's almost cheating. That almost <laughs> feels like cheating. I wish I had a piece like that. No, that's sick, that's a sick windbreaker. I would probably style it a bit more sporty, like with a pair of like sneakers. I was thinking about that, I was like, oh, should I go for the white sneakers or something like that? But then I kind of like the, just breaking the it with the sophistication. Yeah. The juxtaposition, if yeah, you will. Yeah. So I don't know. Hell yeah, Everybody, where's that from? This is from Top Man, actually. Oh my way. Got it like last year. Great pickup. I don't usually yeah, shop there that much, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I just walked in, saw this anymore. piece, and I was like, yo. All right, you ready for your next one? Man? I am. I'm getting there. Let's go. <laughs> and we have, oh, so kind of similar to like something you wanted to do before. We have Lounge. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> I'm like, did I pack for that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll find out. <laughs> Let's go. This is where I took the liberty to interpret lounge, how I wanted to interpret lounge. I wasn't about to ask him if you like mean piano lounge, jazz lounge. I was trying to like, okay, let's make this easy on myself. So I went for a really simple, chill look that I can lounge in. Was no. that what you had meant? Pun intended, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. Sure. So I got a pair of off-white kicks on that I color matched with my hoodie from John Elliott. Then I have the white t-shirt just peeking out underneath, picking up on the white and the sneakers, and then the same pair of Target jeans that you saw me wear in the 90s, the first outfit, just for a really chill look. Accessorize a little bit more than I did in the other ones because it's, mm. there's not a lot going on, and this is where I'm like very comfortable wearing myself, including all the silverware. Yeah, nice and simple, oh, right. cozy Saturday. That's what I'm, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the vibe. And I feel like that color is also like the type of color you'd wear oh, to yeah. lounge in. I don't know if that right. makes sense. Like, Yeah, on like a brown leather couch, I'll be just like sinking in and yeah. I'll look really good because there's earth tones involved. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the earth tones, man. All right, I'm gonna cut the Darth Vader out and... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you choose one of these two. I'll choose it, yeah, okay. Just tap it. We'll, we'll go with we'll the Okay, left. this one's it. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Nice. Ready to rock. <laughs> Ready to roll. Is that the same 12 and a half? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 so. I realize I'm wearing the same trousers uh -huh. and the same boots, but right. I just had to, like for rock and roll, yeah. like I looked at what I had and I was like, yeah, just, okay. it just it just fits so well with it. Like you can't go more rock and roll than black leather Chelsea boots, the black crop trousers, and most of all though, like I think that's what makes it. Yeah. This jacket, I truly love this piece. It's a Canadian, it's a Canadian brand that sent this to me uh, cool. called Collar Clothing. So, oh, I know them. Yeah. You know them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I think they're based them. in Toronto and yeah. Okay. They sent me this piece and I just love this jacket. Like it's super well, like thought out and intentionally designed, like just the yeah, way. Yeah, like the, sleep, the, the room up here, exactly. but then tapered like, down here. It's yeah, just so. so smartly designed. Yeah. Like when I got it, I was like, oh, like it's just, it's just a beautiful piece, you know? So yeah, really love it. We were talking off camera before about, you know, uh, versatility and obviously you being able to wear the same pants and shoes with three very different looks yeah. is a big point <laughs> on versatility and sustainability in that sense too. So you're buying the pieces that you get a lot of use out of for yeah. many different looks. So that's that's cool. D does it show I'm versatile or that my style is boring? <laughs> I do not know, but hey, it let, works. Let us know in the comments, <laughs> but be nice. <laughs> Please be nice. All right. I think we should finish it off, man. Yeah, last got, one, last one. Last outfit I feel like from I've Marcel. Dodged, I've dodged a lot of bullets. And I want to see what you got, man. Let's go with the first one here. And, ooh, I like it. So that's like my style, like 100%. Can I call it? Can you call it? Oversized. Ooh, almost. No, actually, <laughs> <laughs> not oversized. Monochrome. Oh, monochrome. All right, cool. I can do monochrome. You can, I can do, do monochrome. monochrome. Let's go. Let's I, do it. I kind of was looking. Yeah. We get I mean, you can just take what I'm wearing here. So what you got, Marcel? Ooh, desert vibes. I like it. 
Yeah, so I decided to wear my over, oversized piece anyway because it worked with this monochromatic look. I got my off-whites on still, so I actually kind of like, you just repeat it. You know, I think that's kind of like the theme right now. We got H&M chinos in a tan color, then a waffle long sleeve. The one I was wearing in black before, but this time in tan, both from Urban Outfitters. And then this acne overshirt in a really nice tan color. I think the colors are just perfectly represented in the shoe that I picked it up back throughout the outfit, but you like it? Yeah, I really love the overshirt. Like, right? just the fit and all, it's amazing. Acne, you said, yeah. Acne yeah. Studio. You want to buy it? It's on my Depop. Right. <laughs> I actually Heading over it. to the Depop. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, I bought it, brought it back out of my Depop for sale storage. Yeah. So I could wear it in this video because you said oversized and I don't have any more oversized clothes in my closet. <laughs> Marcel was like oversized, open the wardrobe and see just like slim jeans. Yeah, and <laughs> literally, that's my life pretty much. Like I have a couple white legged pants in, but I just never wear them. <laughs> All right. I like how you did like the jewelry and stuff as well, because like silver accessories, I think it's underrated to like pull off silver accessories with the more tan and beige khaki looks. Because people tend to go for gold more, you think? I feel like, yeah. I just don't like gold that much, personally. Like, yeah. I just wear silver, so I'm like, I'd rather have the contrast, the like colder yeah. contrast against the warmer outfit. Um, and than your skin tone as well, right? Like, I feel yeah. like your undertone and stuff, it's more, it's more to the cooler yeah. side, so it just yeah. works better with the silver. Exactly. We got six more okay. cards left. Please, please pick something that's gonna allow me to get out of these Chelsea boots, because this is not possible. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Workwear. You're okay, not gonna go. Okay, I'm not gonna wear this. Okay, <laughs> I get that. Work for it. I'm ready. So what you got? Let's see what's happening. The Sandy Boys. Kind of, kind of copied you on that one. <laughs> kind of ticks two boxes, right? Like yeah, monochrome and workwear and oversized a little. And, yeah, and oversized a little bit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I feel like workwear can kind of be interpreted like two different ways. You can kind of go like workwear as an office wear, right. and then like the actual like style trend of workwear. So that's kind of like how I chose to see it. And yeah, we got this chore jacket from Everlane, which definitely like is a workwear kind of piece like with the more relaxed beige trousers. Again, chunky, chunky off-white kicks and the turtleneck, which is kind of breaks the workwear kind of vibe. Yeah, and kind a of bit more like, upscale. Yeah, just a little bit more elevated. So, and I also liked it in the monochrome kind of aesthetic Yeah, I like it a lot. Well. But that's your thing, like you said, like you're like, oh, monochrome. I was like, either monochrome or oversized. But yeah, that's, that yeah, is yeah. your thing. <laughs> I very much enjoy like the monochrome slash oversized aesthetic. Though sometimes I, I do also color block from right. the fence. So that's it. We're now we're now matching twins. We can we should this should be the thumbnail. We should. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I want to wrap it up with a few little style questions I have for you. But since it's my first time in New York, I kind of feel like you gotta kind of show me some cool spots. We're gonna show here, you right? around. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. Up until 2018, 2018, when Mercedes Benz was still like the main sponsor for Fashion Week. This was New York Fashion Week. It's the first time I went to New York Fashion Week here. And like, so a lot of memories. <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished having lunch at The Smith. One of my favorite places in New York, there's a few of them. It's like affordable enough, but great food, right? Yeah, amazing, amazing. But I do want to ask, what advice would you give for people to step out of their comfort zone and kind of experiment with stuff that maybe they haven't tried before that may, may look good on them? You already kind of gave it away, like experimenting, but how do you experiment when you maybe don't have a budget. I used to go shopping a lot without actually shopping. I used to try on a bunch of different things. I used to go to the same store, draw on the same jacket three times before I actually would buy it. Same with things in my closet, new combinations. I would try them on like several times before I actually had the confidence to step outside the door in that outfit and kind of like see what the feedback is from people and how confident I feel throughout the day. So much of it is just trial and error. I think don't be afraid to try things at least in the like comfort of your own home, yeah. where you don't yeah. necessarily, you're not at risk of like being <laughs> hated on or whatever. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Definitely let me know like who you would like to see me collab next, because this is the first one of this series. I really enjoyed it. I I'm number fun one. Doing it. I'm number one. <laughs> Dude, it was so much fun. Thank so you for much having me be part of this. Where can people find you? Uh, on Instagram, on YouTube, on New York and LA streets. Uh, Marcel Everywhere. Flores, one Dapper Street, one or two. That's it. If you see him, say hi. Yeah, say hi. I'm a, I'm a nice guy, right? Wish you all a beautiful day, guys. Have an amazing one. I'll see you soon. Bye. You got it. <laughs>
and I'm like super overexposed. <laughs> like opened the, opened the. <laughs> that is I, I, super sick, to be honest. I, I worn it a few times. It's super sick, to be honest. Sounding like I'm a. <laughs> <laughs>